Hey, I'm Stephen with MyCom, and I'm here to share with you another tutorial today about the best free video editing software. So let's dive in. I get this question asked to me a lot, which video editing software do you use? And personally, I use the Adobe Creative Cloud uh, with Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, and such. But if I were to start off today video editing, I would choose DaVinci Resolve. And that's because there's a free option, which is amazing, and there's also a paid version, which is just a one-time fee instead of paying a subscription service. So uh, a lot of different creators, big creators from YouTube and even movie studios are using DaVinci Resolve. Um, I believe the movie Safety that was released on Disney Plus a couple years ago would work exclusively in Resolve. And I just want to show you a little bit of how this program works. Um, so right here, I'm on Blackmagic Design's website. And uh, if you just click this little icon here, free download now, and then you can choose your operating system. So I'm on Mac, so I'll download the Mac. And then here, just enter in your details, just real easy. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, now that we have Resolve open, what we can do, double click the Untitled Project, and we can File and Save As, that way we know what it is. I'll name this MyCom Resolve. I'll save it. And you can see here up in this panel, uh, we have no clips in the media pool. Um, so now that we saved it, uh, what I want this to be is a super high level, very basic introduction into DaVinci Resolve. I want to get a tool in your guys' hands that you can mess around with, look up other tutorials, and uh, really dive deep into what this program has to offer. But this will just be the very, very, very basics of DaVinci Resolve uh, because it is a free program and I want to get this tool into your hands as quickly as possible. Um, so basically right now you can see at the bottom here um, there's different pages that you can use. Uh, Media, Cut, Edit, Fusion, Color, Fairlight, and Deliver. I know that can be very overwhelming, but what I want to focus on is this Edit tab because this is what most people are familiar with. And so what we can do is you see there's no clips in the media pool. There's a hundred different ways to import media in, into this pool. But what I can do is open up uh, my finder window and then locate the project files. Uh, so what I can do, what I love about this is I can just drag footage and music. Boom. And go ahead and change the frame rate. That's fine. Drag this into the media pool and looky there everything, all the footage is here, all the music is here, so scrub through, and you can clearly hear. Okay, that's pretty loud, but so you can, you can scrub through here and listen to the music. Um, so let's go ahead and just drag this in, boom, music's in, and we'll take it down just a few dBs. That way it's not going to blow our ears off whenever we listen to it. And we'll play this back. And so now that we have the music in, we can go ahead and start dragging through some footage. And um, you can see all the footage in this master media bin. And uh, one really cool thing is with these thumbnails, not only can you see the first frame, but you can also scrub through and kind of get a taste of what is in the clip. And so there is my baby girl, Margo. And um, so I just want to pull in a few clips to the timeline and just show you just really simple basic cuts and edits to do. So I'll grab this clip. Of the baseball game and so I'm gonna turn this down quite a bit because it's really um, so it. and there's sweet Margo we can show the reaction of my wife I believe he's about to score here
she's in focus, grab the blade tool, cut, highlight this, and then if I hit Alt and Delete, I can right click and hit a ripple cut. And what that'll do is delete that middle. You can see this clip. If I hit ripple cut, right click, ripple cut, it'll cut to where I made automatically delete that middle clip. And so again, I'll grab that, or I can hit Command X, delete the extra there. Now I'll grab this shot of Margot. Again, kind of scroll to where I want the shot to start. Movement starts there. Grab that, and then again, right click, ripple cut. Isn't she sweet? I know, subjecting all of you to my family footage, which I'm not apologizing for. All right, so say, you know, we got this simple three shot sequence. And edit this. Yeah. All right, so what I'll do, I'll cut the music there. And then say this is the final video, say it's a feature length film, 94 minutes, but for me right now, it's just nine seconds. And um, how do I get this to an actual file? So we wanna go over to this deliver tab. And here, there's a lot of different, um, there's a lot of different presets that we can choose from. You can even, you know, YouTube 1080p, boom, perfect. Um, a lot of different presets to choose. Uh, what I want, I want to have a little bit more control of how I want to export. And so I'll do this H.264, which is generally the best codec to use for anything online. So I'll rename this MyCom Resolve Location. And again, I'll put this in the same folder as my project and the footage and the music. And so put this in the delivery and save it. Uh, QuickTime H.264, 1920 by 1080 is great. Um, audio is good. All that looks great. Um, and so what I want to do is go down here, hit add to render queue, and then it'll pop up in this render queue. And then all I need to do is render all and let it do it, let it do its thing. And it's done. You can see that completed in three seconds. So I'll right click, reveal in Finder, and looky there. And so again, I know this was a super basic but I wanted to give you guys a very high level view into DaVinci Resolve and just give you an introduction into what the program is, that it's free and it's fully capable to edit anything that you need to do from sermon clips to event recaps. And then, like I said in the intro, it's even edited feature length films from Disney Plus and a lot of other studios use DaVinci Resolve. And so it's growing amongst a lot of creators online, a lot of different editors that I'm involved with use DaVinci Resolve. I didn't even dive into the color page, which is really what it's known for. But again, for most of us, just simple cuts, simple edits. This is the go-to editor of choice. If I were to start editing right now, it would be DaVinci Resolve 18 because it's free. And even the paid version is just a one-time fee of, I think, $300. There's no subscription. It updates all the time. The company that, that makes DaVinci Resolve Blackmagic, they do a phenomenal job at listening to the community as far as providing updates and fixing bugs and just providing the best, most affordable software and also gear to use for production. So again, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you've learned something and I'm excited to produce more tutorials for MyCom and uh, just be on the lookout for those. Thanks.